asked when we get to the presentation, a lot of this stuff is uh, proprietary info. It's actually some video from our factory. No phones, no recording, please. I also asked the camera crew not to record, so uh, Brian, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just set out you know, never to start a business. It was just having some fun in, in my workshop with my dad, building some paddles and coming up with some different ideas. Which number is the gearbox killer? Yeah. We've got the Ruby, which is coming out next month. We are working on a new shape. Yes. I brought along from Australia some of the prototypes that were made in our workshop with my father. Yeah, I mean, if you want to try a paddle that shits on the gearbox in terms of power, try to <laughs> Gearbox who? <laughs> I never, never heard of her. <laughs> Good evening, y'all. Thank you all for coming. Uh, it means a lot to us. This is, uh, this is really nice to see. Obviously, um, we want to thank, I want to start by just thanking our ambassadors. If you're an ambassador, raise your hand. Yes. Thank you all. Uh, your support means the world to us. It really does. Uh, we we want to, you know, uh, when I was talking to Dale and we were talking about our ambassadors and um, how thankful we are of, you know, how much you guys put in uh, day in and day out. We don't see it, obviously, but we do see it in the chat. You guys are, you guys are live in the chat and you, we, we hear you um, with your ideas. You guys have a lot of really good ideas, so just thank you. Keep doing what you're doing and we're working hard on the back end to revamp the ambassador program. So it benefits you guys, it benefits us, it benefits the communities because we want to take care of you guys and we committed ourselves to that, so thank you guys. We have some influencers and content creators here. Thank you guys uh, for being here and for supporting us. A lot of you have been supporting us from day one and supporting Dale from day one, so that also means a lot to us, so thank you. Uh, friends and family, all of you guys, thank you guys too. We're here just to you know have some fun. Obviously, you guys came in and went straight to the paddles, <laughs> which was cool. I didn't think you guys were gonna go straight to the barbecue, um, so it's awesome. Today is a special day. Uh, two things. One, and I think you guys know which one that is. Let's give a huge round of applause to Jaume Martinez. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yesterday you played really well, but job's not finished. Uh, <laughs> you guys know me, I love Kobe Bryant. Job is not finished. You got a big day tomorrow. Um, thank you to Jami for being here. Kelsey, our other pro player, thank you so much for being here too. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you guys take some time to, to hit around with them after we go out to the courts. They want to have some fun with you guys. If you want autographs, you'll come see me, $10 a person. <laughs> um, but no, seriously, thank you guys. It means a lot. We're going to go through a couple of things. I know you guys want to hear from Dale. Dale is the master behind, behind Six Zero. He is the inventor, the creator, the visionary of, of Six Zero Pickleball, and without him, honestly, none of us would be here today. So, really special. Um, he's not in the USA often. Obviously, he's in he's in Australia, um, but we're just stoked. We're stoked for him to be here. Stoked for you guys to all be here with him. Um, and I know how excited he's been for tonight. So, we're gonna go through a couple things. He's gonna talk a little bit about you know Six Zero. Uh, we have a little presentation for you guys. I will ask when we get to the presentation, a lot of this stuff is uh, proprietary info. It's actually some video from our factory. No phones, no recording, please. I also ask the camera crew not to record, so 
Uh, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that time to start Christmas shopping. And Viore let me know some of the best selling products so I can make that easier for you. If you're looking for something for your partner and they're female, these are some good recommendations. And if your partner is male, these are also some good recommendations. And since it's that time of season, things are getting a little bit colder and you may be looking for something maybe just for yourself. This is my personal recommendation. This is the Ponto crew neck. The entire Ponto line is super soft. I have that crew neck. It's really lightweight. When I recently went to Seattle, that was actually my favorite piece of clothing that I brought with me because it was just super lightweight and it was just enough to keep me warm in the airport or on the airplanes where they're typically a little bit colder, but not too much where it felt too heavy and almost like it would be too big to stuff into my bag. Go to viori.com slash building pickleball. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but you'll also receive free shipping on any orders of $75 or more, as well as free returns. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta have somebody check Ryan's camera and make sure it's on. <laughs> um, so that'll be some fun. It'll be some sneak peeks into the process. Um, Infinity launch today. It was a huge successful launch. So thank you all for, especially the ambassadors. I know you guys have been spreading the word too. Super excited for this title. Can't wait for you guys to end with it. We do have some for sale. Ambassadors and we'll get first go. And then if there's any left over, I cool. Thanks, Bertie, for, for the intro. Uh, I think you've covered everything, so I don't need to say anything. <laughs> um, look, I'm extremely humbled by the turnout tonight. Um, this uh, last 12 months has been a, an amazing journey, a wild ride. Uh, very stressful. I think I might shed some tears so you can just can't believe how many people are here and just you know, the support base that we have. I think the success of 6 Zero has just been from that grassroots, that community level, and you know, I just set out, you know, never to start a business. It was just having some fun in, in my workshop with my dad, building some paddles and coming up with some different ideas. And, you know, who, who knew that it would land to where we are today? I think we're only just getting started and we've got a long way to go. And, you know, we'll continue to press the, you know, that leading edge of innovation or, and trying to, you know, build the next best paddle. And so, yeah, we launched our Infinity today, which we're very proud of. I mean, that paddle was in a sample format 12 months ago, and it's uh, taken this long to sort of refine that to get it to a stage where we're happy to bring that to the market. Um, yeah, so uh, we've got a bunch of paddles over here. Um, so yeah, I think we've all seen the Infinity, which launched today. We've got the Ruby, which is coming out next month. That's the first uh, full Kevlar face. It's a DuPont USA made Kevlar face. Um, you'll be able to try that tonight. Um, what the nice features of this paddle is got a really, really nice grab over the ball and a little bit more pop perhaps than the carbon. Um, we've also got an entry level paddle that we're looking to bring in. Uh, don't be fooled by the painted face, it's actually a raw carbon face. Um, and we'll probably launch that in around that 50, 60 US dollar mark. Uh, so it'll be a, a raw carbon paddle, probably looking at a big box type um, um, product, but also white labeling to various organizations. Mm. Something that might also be of interest to a few of you is we are working on a new shape. Yes. So, <laughs> this is actually- We're not calling it the Willinator. <laughs> This is, oh, the, we this is the Willinator. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's for discussion. You can also use it as a garden spade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's 16.8 uh, inches long and it's got a six inch handle. So for those who you know, kept complaining that they needed a, an elongated paddle. I'm sorry, but and, also you're welcome. Uh, this, this actually <laughs> plays really well. Uh, and the sweet spot's surprisingly strong throughout the whole paddle. So. That, that'll probably launch next year, early next year, we'll bring that shape in. Um, we've got Jame's uh, Pro Edition, that's the yeah, same paddle that he used yeah. today to beat Tyson. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I have promised him a signature model if he uh, wins the PPA or the Nationals, so that's hanging up there for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so also I've brought along from Australia some of the prototypes that were made in our workshop. 
with my father. And uh, we're currently up to prototype, uh, we're in the 60s now, and uh, each one has got something different in, in, in its uh, makeup. And what we're focusing on at the moment is the internal, so totally new cores. Uh, and what we're trying to look for in these is, we're not really worried about how much spin it's got or, or anything like that, because the face plates are all the same. So you're trying to um, bring down the, you try to only identify small changes in, in variables, not have too many things going on. So you're just making small minor changes, and then it's a very basic iterative process of going out and testing the paddles and seeing what works and what doesn't, and then and then sharpening the pencil, as you might say. So um, these paddles are all, um, like I said, they've got solid cores and they've got some different things going on internally. I can't really say exactly what's in them. Uh, because um, unfortunately, uh, there's a few copycats out there. Yeah, I mean, if you want to try a paddle that shits on the gearbox in terms of power, try to avoid it. Bold claim. Bold claim. You don't need any more. Uh, what Chris, Chris doesn't get to play with that one yet. I know. <laughs> Until he puts the gearbox down. We've got our, um, I know a lot of you have been waiting for a bag to come out, so these are in production Ooh. now. There's a pink and a, and a black and white model. Um, yeah, we, we, as you probably also know, we've been through quite a few iterations of this bag before we were prepared to release it. This is actually not the final version. The final version, the final version will have the facet lines through, but in terms of the internals and the makeup, it's. Um, what we've got here tonight. Everything's a little bit dirty because I've been lugging it around for two weeks and then every time I go somewhere everyone wants to empty my bag and look through it and then hit stuff so it's not. We've got some new um, hats. Some new hats. So these are, uh, we'll start bringing these hats in. They're uh, a bit, bit better quality than the first round of hats that we got. They sit a bit deeper on your head and they've got the snap back on the, on the back. A little bit more detail internally. And then something that I'm really uh, excited about is our snapback hat. We put a lot of attention to detail in the design of this. And uh, yeah, so that, that both of the, these products are in production at the moment. And what else? Oh, the jumper I'm wearing, or the hoodie. This one's also in production, and uh, it's, it's really luxe inside, and it feels really nice, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Uh, I'd like to, uh, wrapping up, I'd like to say thank you to um, the McKinley Centre for hosting us today and um, the effort that they put in, in getting this event going. I'd like to thank David Valeski for his efforts this week. Thank you, sir. Um, I'd like to give a special shout out to Dalton Hess, who's here tonight. He's our top performing ambassador, uh, and he's, uh, I couldn't believe how many paddles that he had um, personally moved. So, uh, hand up, Dalton. Go, Dalton. And lastly, uh, a big sh big thank you to everyone who's made the effort to come tonight. I'm, I'm just, um, yeah, like I said, I'm extremely grateful at the, the, uh, the support that you've shown um, our company in the last 12 months and for making an effort to come tonight. Um, and, and thanks to uh, the reviewers, uh, Chris, Will, John, and Brian, uh, who have really, um, you know, helped Six Zero become a, a, a name in the pickleball industry. So, being really, I think they really uh, got behind me because they saw the story, you know, where the technology had come from. And um, I think, um, yeah, I appreciate that they've acknowledged that in their reviews. And um, you know, it is what it is. Every I think every brand now has got a thermoformed carbon edge paddle, and I probably should have patented it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I think we're patenting everything moving forward, put it that way. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a little video to, tonight I can show you. So I was in China um, at the Chelsea. You guys are awesome. We love you guys. Um, and we have your backs till the end. So, yeah, thank you all. Let's, uh, if you're still hungry, eat. If not, let's see. And then, uh, let's all get out tomorrow and watch yeah. Charlie and give you some more. Yeah. 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 Cool. Using, but I. <laughs>
was adjusting to the gearbox for this one. And then we'll see after that. But I've been liking it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the same. Have you hit it? I hit it last week. It was okay. Like, how nuts are we talking? Like, uncontrollably almost. Just. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> We're about to find out real quick. Uh, I think it's me. I get away that. That one's also pretty good. It, All right, Jake, let's go. All right, Dad. All right. I play with Connor. Oh, holy frick. Gearbox, who? <laughs> I never, never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> It is heavy, but it's very good. Yeah, no, that's a good paddle. Oh, you're good, you're good. Don't, yeah, go ahead. No worries. It's a little lighter. <laughs> yeah, he likes that one. I've been, I've been telling him ever since we had the 6-0, I said I'd play with the double black diamond if it had a long hit. And this is great. Now, if you make the ruby with this shape, that's, I like the ruby. I like the ruby, and I like the shape. That's what I mean. Which number is the gearbox killer? Uh, it's the red, uh, the red edge guard. Yeah, whoever has it out there. Uh, it's 43. It's, uh, they got the yellow hat. Has it. Yeah, that I got you, JT.